Now, let's change what we have done is a document class on article. So let's about some Beamer, and Beamer is the way to produce slides. Uh, it's very convenient as well, most commonly used, and you can see a lot of academic presentation. They use Beamer. And um, the Beamer, the way you produce, actually is no different from article. So everything carry for carry forward. So instead of uh, document class article, document class Beamer. And again, your title, offers, date, begin document, go back title. And you see back title actually give you the first slide. So let's try to do it. I have a begin document, uh, title, offer, date, a package. Use it later, not doesn't matter here now. A begin document, a bunch of stuff here. The moment, let's cut it out. Okay, so this is a, the simplest document we have. Same as what you see the slide. So let's compile it. And when you compile it, it takes some time, but you will immediately see the first page. The title, how to offer and a date. Okay, so this is a very simple slide, first slide. Of course, uh, we want to go a little bit more, look at the second slides. And to create slide, you have uh, different from uh, producing standard document. Standard document, uh, how page, uh, which page you want to have a new, what, where, where the text put a new page, it doesn't really matter. Let the computer to calculate for you. Uh, but the uh, for slides, uh, which content put in which slide? You also want to have a more strict control. So that's why Beamer, uh, you have to tell them which slide you want to start and end. Okay, then you have the begin frame, end frame, uh, which tells you okay the content within this is in the same frame. And very often for the uh, frame a uh, slide with a title, it's a frame title, happy and hello well. Okay, so this is uh, uh, the first uh, slide we know produce. So let's look at the uh, book. So we just add uh, one slide only, a summary slide. Uh, no, we want more. So we want to have uh, only one uh, single slide, hello world slide. So let's try to compile this one. So we have a slide, uh, hello world. So um, this is one slide. So if you want uh, another one, so let's say uh, want to produce another one like this slide. Uh, sorry, I want to produce a, another slide. A, uh, I have a summary slide here, okay, and that's line. And uh, very often when we produce slide, okay, we really need to uh, have a bullet point, right? Most slide have bullet point, and um, the easiest thing to do is same. You just do itemize, right? Bullet point, we learn it. Put it, begin itemize and itemize and have item. So uh, let's see how it got implemented. So I have a uh, begin frame end frame and put the frame title and then begin itemize and itemize and two items. And if you uh, try to compile it, it takes some time. But you will see uh, there's a two bullet point automatically produced for you and looks pretty nice. Now at the end, uh, I want to show uh, how to include a picture. Do the same, uh, begin with end frame, frame title, and I have uh, include graphics. So let's see how it get compiled. Okay. And now let's compile it. Sometime, but you can see uh, the picture already fit pretty well. But this is a little bit oversized, so maybe we just use the scale uh, to scale it a little bit smaller. Sometimes you want it to be even smaller, uh, and then again, it's not center. Then you want to say same thing: begin center and center. 
So it, because it's uh, also like text, so every command you learn uh, uh, can be used here. If you want math, do the same thing. Uh, so you can see uh, center the picture. Okay, so there's a brief introduction on how to produce slides. I hope you like it. Thank you for listening.